The Indian Ocean Dipole, or IOD for short, is a natural and irregular change in sea temperatures across the Indian Ocean. If you think you've seen something like this before, you'd be right. It's very similar to the El Nino-La Nina cycle in the Pacific Ocean. In fact, the two are linked, and the IOD can be seen as an extension of, or even a phase of, the El Nino phenomenon. And just like El Nino, the IOD plays a big part in altering weather patterns right around the globe. The IOD changes year to year between three states, positive, negative, and neutral. Each state has different effects on weather patterns, and each year the intensity, or just how positive or how negative the IOD is, also varies. Many years the IOD will simply remain neutral throughout. Generally speaking, the closer a country is to the Indian Ocean, then the stronger the link between the weather patterns and the IOD. The Indian Ocean Dipole is a relatively recent discovery. Scientists have only known about it since 1999, but climatologists have been able to map the pattern back in time due to sea surface temperature observations throughout the decades. OK, let's look at the phases now and start when the IOD is positive. A positive IOD is when the temperature of the sea on the western side of the Indian Ocean is higher than average. Now this occurs when the winds at the surface across the Indian Ocean become more easterly, bringing warmer waters to the west. The higher temperatures over the ocean creates warmer air above the surface. That warmer air rises, that lowers the pressure at the surface, and the combination of low pressure and rising warm air generates more rain in this part of the world. Now it's not just here that's impacted, the whole ocean is, and as well as warming of the waters on the western side, an upwelling of cooler waters on the eastern side of the ocean is created at the same time. And the cooler waters here means that the air doesn't rise as much, pressure is higher at the surface, and rainfall is reduced and droughts can occur. So when the IOD is positive, it usually creates flooding in eastern Africa and drought in Indonesia and Australia. A positive IOD also leads to an increase in rainfall during the southwest monsoon season across the Indian subcontinent. Now let's look at what happens when we get a negative IOD. A negative phase in the IOD occurs when westerly winds at the surface are stronger than normal across the ocean, and this results in pushing of the warmer waters to the eastern side of the ocean and the temperatures in the western Indian Ocean being lower than average. The warming here creates more rainfall in the same way it does on the other side of the ocean when the IOD is positive, and the pattern is totally reversed. During a negative phase, rainfall is increased here, but cooler waters on the western side of the ocean means that rainfall is decreased here. So when the IOD is negative, it can lead to flooding in Indonesia and parts of Australia and lead to droughts in eastern Africa. It can also lead to a reduction in rainfall during the southwest monsoon season across the Indian subcontinent. Now, in a neutral phase, the sea surface temperatures are around average, and the IOD has no impact on weather patterns. In the Northern Hemisphere autumn of 2019, the IOD was extremely positive, the highest ever recorded, in fact. This record-breaking IOD had huge impacts on the weather patterns across many countries. The resulting drought in Australia led to one of the most severe fire seasons on record. And meanwhile, in Africa, the excess rainfall created devastating floods, and the warming seas are also thought to have contributed to a severe locust season here. A recent study suggests that climate change is expected to increase the frequency of these extreme positive IOD years. Now, although the impacts of the IOD are felt more keenly across countries adjacent to the Indian Ocean, just like El Nino, the IOD can affect weather right around the globe. So, does the IOD affect UK weather? Well, actually, the Indian Ocean Dipole is just one of many global climate features that affect our weather here in the UK, and we call these our climate drivers. 
and the teleconnections between them are a really intense area of ongoing scientific research. One connection suggests that a positive IOD can lead to a positive North Atlantic Oscillation in late winter. The North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO, determines how much influence the Atlantic has on our weather. When the NAO is positive, this means westerly winds are more likely across the UK and the weather is generally wetter and windier with a more active jet stream. Although other factors were undoubtedly also at play, this is what was observed in early 2020, with February seeing a number of intense low pressure systems crossing the country, resulting in the wettest February ever recorded and the fifth wettest month ever recorded across the UK.